Chris, I know that you were happy with this signing, so I wanted to bring it up. Browns sign Nick Chubb. Three years at $36 million. What is it, $20 million guaranteed? Yeah, $20 million guaranteed. Uh, 36 point, I think it's $36.6 million um, total for three years. I think it's an unbelievable contract. So I have publicly stated on this show for a few years now that I would never, ever, ever, ever re-sign one of these big-time running backs. I would just draft another one. Over yeah. and over and over and over and over, I've stated that fact. But that is because... Let, let me roll off the last few contracts. Ezekiel Elliott, six years, $90 million. Todd Gurley, four years, $60 million. Uh, the Christian McCaffrey deal, uh, it was like four years, $66 million or something like that. Those are grossly exaggerated contracts that will really damage and cause issues to your salary cap numbers. You get somebody who's willing to take a contract for three years, $36 million, and produce the way Chubb has produced for the Browns and what they project going forward. It's not a very long contract. Running backs' lives don't last very long. This is about as team-friendly a deal as you're going to get. I didn't foresee this happening because I feel like the life bread of running backs, their lifespan is just so short, they got to get as much money as they can. And if he was to hit the open market, he's going to get substantially more than this. Some dummy out there is giving him 50 to $60 million. Yes, 100%. Okay? We look, look at it all day long. It's it's so, just, it, it's just a lot of money for a position that is not exactly uh, valued, right? No. Like, and, right. and the reason it's not valued is because there are a lot of people that can do what running backs do. It, there's a lot of athletes that can just – be handed the football, and they can find a hole. Uh, but there are certain athletes, there are certain running backs that can do amazing things, right? We understand Christian McCaffrey, all that. The reason he got paid is because he acted more as a wide receiver than just a running back. However, the contract is still ridiculous when that is their right. their primary job, right? For Chubb, though, this is a good contract. It's a good but, contract for him. It's a good contract for the team. Th- this is the best of all of the world's um, you know, it, it's a, it's not a big percentage of the ca- salary cap. The salary cap number we all assume is just going to go up every year for the next four to five years anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, so percentage to the cap, it's going to actually get smaller and smaller. And then the last thing is, is if this guy lasts seven years in the league, at the end of this deal, it's a great deal. If he's still rocking and rolling and you can get an eighth deal out of him, eighth year out of him, you can franchise him, and your franchise tag number is going to be somewhere around $15 million, probably, maybe 17 And so at the end of this deal, you're going to have him for eight years, four of those on a rookie contract, and the other four he's going to get to make, you know, $60 million, no, not $60, uh, uh, $45 to $50 million, something like that, depending on what that cap number is. Um uh, the franchise tag number is, and 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 that's a good deal for him, and that's also a good deal for the Browns. Yes, you know. And then I think after that, he's either you know we got to see what kind of running back he is, or if he has a life at that point in time in the game, because so few running backs are going to last seven eight years. They just aren't. So yeah, no, I think uh, I think you are a hundred percent correct. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a good deal, and and we'll see exactly how it goes. I mean, he's he's still kind of young, so it uh, I, I think it will pay off. It's only twenty million guaranteed. It's not the full thirty six. So oh, no, yeah, you, you have a couple of bad years. Okay. The other thing is, is they have the luxury of doing this because they have Kareem Hunt on an absolute steal of a deal this year. So, so that allows them. And because Hunt has been there the last couple of years, he doesn't have to take the brunt of the carries. So, like other people would point and say, well, the reason those other running backs got the contracts they got is because they're true three down backs. They're on the field constantly. I say that's actually not good value though. Like, I, give me two guys that make up the $60 million over four years over one guy that makes $60 million because one guy just physically can't do the job day in and day out, week in and week out in the NFL consistently. They get hurt too easily at the running back position, and we see it happen all the time. So if you can split that $60 million between him and Hunt over the four years, now we're having a different conversation. You get an elite-level running back. At, at a great price, and you've got the 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 padded um, buffer of of having 
having some security with it being two of them instead of one of them. 100%. 100%. Now, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.